Hey, it's Jacqueline here from JCR Studios, your brand specialist, strategist, and mentor. So with being a brand developer for entrepreneurs, one of the things I'm often asked is how much personality should a personal brand have? And the short answer is it really depends. I know it's a completely unfulfilling, boring answer, but it really does depend on the entrepreneur and their ideal client and customers. But one rule of thumb to determine how much personality that you want to add is to consider how, that you, how you usually speak to your clients in person. Do you have a sense of humor when you talk to them? Are you quite serious and direct with your tone, but your content really delivers some serious impact? Or are you a super casual extrovert who's outwardly passionate about your clients and maybe sometimes drops the occasional F-bomb? I always tell my clients to be as authentic as possible. Um, now, I'm not talking about leading with the sometimes timid, self-conscious person that we all can be sometimes in certain situations. I'm talking about putting forth the, that future self that you already envision that you are, the dynamic leader that you know you are, the amped up electrified version that you suspect that you are or might want to be. So I always remember Derek Halpern saying one time in a webinar that he isn't actually as bold and extrovert-like in person as he is in his online business and that he does keep it real, but he actually kicks up his personality a couple of notches. This is a necessary thing to do in the online busy, busy arena. You ever notice that there are so many self-professed introvert leaders who are these bold action takers and public speakers and communicators? Well, they just deliberately made a conscious decision to put their powerful message before their own comfort zone, literally. They stretch themselves in ways to create a more powerful version of themselves in order to serve their clients and their customers on a bigger platform and in a much bigger way. This doesn't mean that's not who they were already. It just means that they grew into that leader on purpose. So on the flip side, there are some people who maybe do their business a disservice by making them sometimes come across as being a bit too loud a bit, and sharing a bit too personal information that may be irrelevant to their, to their clients' needs. And it can really be a put off to some people. Your business may not be the best platform to talk about politics. I know that we're all so passionate about our businesses. We are, we invest so much of ourselves in them, our, our time, our money, our devotion, our commitment, 24 seven, I get it, I do too. But don't forget that our businesses are not us. We don't need to share all of our personality and all of who we are all the time because it's not gonna serve our clients. They are our focus and we can't let our ego in the way of that. There are so many people out there believing this myth that their business equals them, when in fact our business is not a carbon copy of who we are. It just isn't. Our business exists to help people and by doing that we have a personal brand that reflects our persona which has a strong thread of our own, of our own personality interwoven throughout it. Yet there are others who may come across as not having as much personality because they haven't creatively incorporated enough of who they are into their brand that makes them stand out. I had a tough time with this. I'm kind of chuckling to myself. I had a really tough time with this when I first started out. Um, I mean, let's just say that the marketing of many years in the corporate world did not do many, me any favors with writing my brand copy. Uh, whatever your personality is, it's time that we claim what makes us different and inject that into our brand so that we can attract our dream clients and make that serious impact, the most impact possible in, in their lives. After all, like that's why we got into business, right? Your power is in being different and not by being a carbon copy of somebody else. So your authenticity is your superpower. <laughs> it literally is. So what can you do today to stretch outside your comfort zone and boldly share a little bit more of who you are and how you can serve by being that leader, that being a dynamic leader that's already inside you, that inner leader that you just may not have maybe tapped into yet that leader that needs to be unleashed maybe to the next level, to a bigger, bolder platform. So I hope this really inspired you guys today and I hope it's giving you more clarity with your own branding. And if you want to learn more about how you can grow your business, just head on over to jcr-studios.com. Thank you so much for watching, you guys.